hello in this video let us look at this capsule this is uh, omiprazole 20 mg so this is used um, to treat peptic ulcer right for acidity so it will stop acid secretion in the stomach right in the last step so it will be effective in many situations so even food if the person looks at food also he will not produce acid so this is a very uh, useful very very used common tablet so here you can see the capsule what is ip ip is indian pharmacopoeia right and uh, this is a capsule which is enteric coated they say so let's just open one and check it's enteric coated means it should not be broken down it is supposed to escape your stomach's acidity right and then go to your intestine and get absorbed so let's look at what is inside this let me open it it was like a game it had a lot of these balls kind of thing in it and this one i'm not able to break it easily i'll taste it and tell you it's kind of sweet and nice actually not that difficult to have it so my laptop is going to secrete less acid from now okay if it absorbs this anyway so uh, this is uh, omiprazole which is a proton pump inhibitor so now first let's look at the classification please go to the classification here <clears throat> okay so in uh, drugs for peptic ulcer so you're seeing here uh, where is omiprazole did you locate it here omiprazole so it is a proton pump inhibitor so it is going to stop the secretion of gastric acid so it's going to stop the secretion itself and it is almost going to stop it at the last step okay so so here you have this uh, cell which is supposed to produce the acid right see the h plus so here you have this proton pump right h plus k plus so this is the h plus k plus atpas some enzymes there and this is something so this omiprazole is supposed to act here um did they mark it somewhere so this enzyme only it will stop which is the last step for producing see the acid is coming out right the h plus is coming out only through this this is the last step of, of all these things so this one is inhibited right so this is a proton pump inhibitor proton means what h plus right proton pump inhibitor so it's going to inhibit this uh, main proton pump itself so basically the h plus will not be able to come out right so it's a very good thing and it is a very so the video just got stopped so basically these are very much better than all these uh, antihistamines etc so um, so omiprazole s yes, omiprazole pantoprazole pantoprazole they will give uh, very commonly even iv they will give pantoprazole lansoprazole rabiprazole dexrabiprazole and ilaprazole so in the exam they will ask you omiprazole so you should know it is a prototype that means it is the example it is the model role model for you so it is um, a ppi right and it is what is it going to inhibit the final step of gastric acid secretion okay then uh, what else i want to talk about they are saying how it works it works in the acidic ph basically okay and uh, what else they are saying it is administered orally right with an enteric coated ec ec means what enteric coated tablet okay if people focus here okay so this uh, tablet or capsule you should not break uh, or you should not crush before swallowing okay you cannot crush it and take whole also you should take it as is okay with in the that capsule that capsule gelatin capsule will be there okay where is that capsule here i just broke it right where's that gelatin let's show you some gelatin also it ran away where did it it's here people it had run away anyways i got it it's kind of hard to open this capsule and inside there's no powder there are like these balls i told you right anyways so basically what are the what is the textbook saying uh, you should not uh, break this or crush it right uh, because it's enteric coated tablet remember and then um, you should take them on an empty stomach okay why because 
if there is food the uh, absorption is reduced or something okay so food should not be there in the stomach and then after taking the tablet after one hour you should eat or something like that they are saying here then it is uh, excreted in urine okay so remember it is excreted in urine but even if a person has a renal impairment then still you can give this uh, no dose modification they are saying okay and you are giving only once daily because remember it is available for a long time looks like because it is doing a uh, it is inhibiting these uh, proton pumps uh, um, something like uh, irreversibly so until these proton pumps are again created by the body you will not have acid secretion so anyways just once a day is enough okay then adverse effects adverse effects we have come to adverse effects of this uh, omeprazole uh, people so not much adverse effects at all okay so you can just write some standard things uh, but otherwise you can just remember there are no adverse effects to remember you will write standard things like nausea vomiting hypersensitivity etc etc but remember only in long term use they may cause some problem you can just say long term use may cause problem that's all what problem uh, also don't bother okay so you can just remember it's a very clean tablet okay that's all that's all that's all bye bye